PIBT. We would like to talk to you about a few things you will need to know to help you settle in as quickly as possible. So please relax while you get to know a little about your new home in Perth. Welcome to Perth. On arrival, a representative will meet you at the Travel X counter. Airport reception is available for path festivals to greet you when you first arrive at Perth and transport you to your destination. This is a free service and can be booked through PSA or if you register with an agent, they can help you organize this. You can also get a bus from the airport into Perth City or a taxi to your destination. A taxi to the city will cost you approximately $30. Your student ID card will be issued to you during orientation. This card entitles you to borrow books from the library, use the printing facilities on campus, borrow multimedia equipment and receive discount on food and movies. It is important to carry a card on you at all times. Your Smart Rider card is a prepaid card for use in public transport and also allows you to receive discount transport fares. You can add credit to your card at credit locations and online. You need to swipe your card at the machine when you start and finish your journey to make the correct payment. Your Smart Rider card can only be issued after you get your semester timetable at orientation. Buses and trains are used for getting around Perth. Catching a bus is easy. First, you will need to check that you are at the correct bus stop. When the bus approaches, stick out your hand to alert the driver that you want to board the bus. When you get on the bus, make sure you swipe your Smart Rider card at the machine or pay the bus driver the correct fare. When you want to get off, you need to ring the bell to alert the driver. Swipe your Smart Rider card again at the machine to finish your journey. When catching a train, Smart Rider machines are located on the train platform. Avoid eating and drinking on public transport and please offer your seat to the elderly and pregnant. You can drive in Perth on an overseas license for up to 12 months or until your license expires. You should apply for an Australian license if you're staying for longer than 12 months or if your overseas license expires. To drive in Western Australia, you must have a current license, carry a license and international driving permit if you have one at all times and show it to police officer when asked. Drive only vehicles that you're authorized to drive and comply with any conditions of the license like having to wear glasses if required to. Be aware that Australia is very strict with road rules. You must stop at red traffic lights, drive at the speed limit, and pull over if the police request you to do so. You need to arrange accommodation before you arrive in Australia. BSA or NASA can help you to organize your accommodation before you leave, or if you are registered with an agent in your country, they will assist you with this. If you choose homestay, you will stay with the host family. This gives you some security, friendly company and home cooked meals when you first arrive so that you can focus on orientating yourself. Temporary accommodation is available at Beauty Lodge and it's another good starting point if you would like more independence when you first arrive. You can book your own room or share with others and there are facilities available for you to cook, wash your clothes and mix with other students. Once you settle in, you can then look for a more permanent arrangement. I rent my house with two other roommates. I found out about it from someone on campus, and my share of the rent is 150 per week. I also need to contribute 30 per week for electricity and gas. Perth has many employment options available for students looking for a few hours of work per week. The best place to look for work is on notice boards, on the internet, through employment agencies, or through the networks that you form during your time here. In compliance with your visa, students are able to work a maximum of 20 hours per week during study periods and a maximum of 40 hours per week during semester breaks. Students generally take employment at petrol stations, supermarkets, doing cleaning, waitressing, or hotel work. When living in a different country, you will need to get used to the changes in the physical environment, the type of food available, the way people look, speak and act, and perhaps having to use a different language to communicate. All of this, along with the absence of family and friends, may cause you to experience a variety of feelings and reactions. This can be described as culture shock, and may contribute to disorientation, and even make you wonder if you have made the right choice in coming to Perth. To lessen the effect of culture shock, it helps to understand some of the differences you may encounter living in Australia. The major differences in social customs and behaviour. 
What is acceptable? Equality for all citizens. Always be on time or let people know if you will be late. All rubbish should be disposed of in a bin and carried with you until you find a bin. Wait your turn in a queue. Informality when addressing others, first names are used early in a relationship. Saying please and thank you, where appropriate, is highly regarded. Eye contact is important during conversation with friends, lecturers, in tutorials, and in oral presentations. What's not acceptable? Please do not be offended by the following list of unacceptable behavior. It is our hope that being aware of these cultural differences may help you adjust to living in Australia. It is against the law to be drunk in public, to use indecent language, to behave in a sexually indecent way, or to urinate in public. Smoking is considered unhealthy and not allowed in public buildings, public transport, taxis, shopping centres, hotels and bars, and restaurants. You need to go outside to smoke, and cigarettes but should be disposed of in a rubbish or trash bin. You are expected to progress both personally and academically during your time at PIBT to ensure a successful transition to university. PIBT offers full support to help you achieve these goals. It is important that you allow yourself time to get used to the different academic styles. Adjusting to your new lifestyle sometimes requires effort and PIBT is available to provide support if you talk to them. It is expected that you let people know if there is something you need assistance with. All overseas students are required to join the Overseas Student Health Cover Scheme, also known as OSHC. This provides health insurance for international students and their dependents during their stay in Australia. OSHC can partly or fully cover the costs for out-of-hospital and in-hospital services, prescription medicines and emergency ambulance transport. It is the student's responsibility to ensure that their membership is current while they hold a student visa. At orientation, you'll be able to register for your membership card to be sent to you. If you are under the age of 18, you will need to have your accommodations and welfare arrangement approved by PIDT once your parents have confirmed the arrangement. Making sure you are secure and comfortable is not only important to PIDT. It is a requirement of the ESOS Act and certain conditions apply. For further information, ask your agent, a PIDT staff member, or check the PIDT website. Orientation is held in the week before you start class. It is essential that you attend orientation to select your units, to organize your class timetable, to get your student ID card, to orientate yourself with the campus and facilities, and it is also a perfect opportunity to make friends. You will also have the opportunity to purchase second-hand books from the students at a reduced price. Orientation week allows you to get settled in the IBT and be in Perth, so that you can start your week of class prepared to make the most of your studies. Welcome. Welcome! We look forward to seeing you on campus soon.